Now I'm going to show you a report that I captured last week from a HIV researcher within the Bay Area, Chung Li. With the Bay Area HIV researcher, Chung Li, and I have a question for you. What are the different types of HIV AIDS services available for immigrants from China in the San Francisco? Well, nearly two-thirds of the San Francisco uh, Bay Area population are now Chinese immigrants. Um, they are the largest minority group of the city. Um, the Newcomers Health Program is a program from the San Francisco Department of Health. They promote health and the well-being of refugees and immigrants from San Francisco. The Newcomers Health Program serves about approximately 190 to 225 refugees per year. And the services that they provide there are health, refugee health assessment, uh, medical interpretation, patient health education, and refugee um, preventative care. Um, they also conduct community presentations and workshops around health topics such as tuberculosis, cancer, um, smoking sensation, and HIV AIDS education. Um, another program in San Francisco is the Asian Pacific, well, um, Pacific Islander Wellness Center, and they provide free multilingual HIV testing and counseling. Um, they offer the oral HIV tests and the finger stick tests, and clients can receive um, results within 20 minutes. Um, they have also confidential testing and anonymous testing. I have another question. Is there an alternative service for the HIV and AIDS besides Western medicine? Um, yes, there is. Um, the, the Kuan Yin Art Healing Arts Center um, serves people primarily from underserved communities. The Chinese medicine is an alternative to Western medicine. Um, Chinese medicine attempts to maintain um, health by harmonizing the body and the mind and the spirit. Um, they practice Chinese medicine by integrating herbs, acupuncture, massage, yoga, and um, Kuan Gan, which is known to support the overall immune health. Um, it can also provide relief for the side effects that um, AIDS medication that um, your body goes through when it takes on the, the high dosage of medicine. Um, there are over Currently, there are over 25 HIV AIDS clinics um, in San Francisco that provides culturally sensitive um, services. Most of the services are free, and they all have counseling and preventative care for all types of people that, um, that need the services. And there are um, interpretation services that are for people that cannot speak English well. Um, I think that we are very fortunate to be living in the San Francisco Bay Area. We have so much diversity here that um, we have a great health care system that deals with all types of health problems and for all types of people. Um, if you want for more information, um, people can go to the AIDS, the San Francisco AIDS Foundation um, website. It's sfa.org. Um, um, for more information around services around HIV in the San Francisco Bay Area. Thank you so much. For more information, go to www.sfaf.org. This concludes my report with Cheng Li. The HIV rates in China is staggering. China needs to relook at its health policies and develop new programs around preventative care and education for underserved populations. This concludes our segment on HIV in China. I'm Lisa Tree. See you next time, San Francisco. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> this part, this is the easy part too. Okay. Thanks for the great report from Kyle Chan. Now I'll show you a report that I captured last week from a famed HIV researcher within the Bay Area, Chung Lee. <laughs> <laughs>